Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I am in one of the only gated communities in Nocatee called Coastal Oaks. This neighborhood tour is going to be a little bit different than what we've done in the past. We're really going to dive into everything that Coastal Oaks has to offer. And again, we're in the beautiful community of Nocatee. So let's go check it out. So let's start with some general info about Coastal Oaks and Nocatee. Nocatee is located in Northeast Florida in St. Johns County in the northern part of St. Johns County in Ponte Vedra. It typically takes anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes to get to Nocatee depending on when you choose to commute. So in the morning during rush hour traffic for work and school could take you a little bit longer and then after work times could also take a little bit longer than say the middle of the day. Some might think that Nocatee is a little bit far removed from say Jacksonville Beach or downtown but that's what a lot of the residents seem to enjoy about the area. You have everything at your fingertips here with multiple amenity centers, multiple pools, and a full Nocatee Town Center with really everything you can imagine. Coastal Oaks is actually really centrally located to all of those things which is great for you if this is a neighborhood that you choose to be in you have the Coastal Oaks amenities that you are able to utilize, or you're just really steps away from the town center and some of the pools. Once you pull up to the neighborhood, you'll notice that Coastal Oaks is a gated community. Now, with that said, Coastal Oaks is one of the few neighborhoods in Nocatee that has a gated community, such as Del Webb. The gate here is manned by an actual security guard, so that is also great. As with most communities in Nocatee, you can expect Coastal Oaks to have an HOA and a CDD fee. In here, they do pay their HOAs quarterly, so it ranges about $200 a month, and it is a little bit higher than what you can expect in some other communities, but that is because there is that manned guard gate. And along with that, you have a beautiful clubhouse with a fitness center, there's a pool, there's multiple sports fields here, dog park, tennis court, volleyball court. Really, there's so many options in this neighborhood, so it does make it worth it. And along with the CDD fee, that does give you access to the amenities within Nocatee as well. You might be curious to know what it feels like to live in Coastal Oaks on a daily basis. And I can tell you being here right now at around 11 a.m., there's tons of people walking their dogs and walking for exercise. There's tons of sidewalks in the neighborhood, so it is very walkable. You also have the ability to have a golf cart in here, just like really anywhere in Nocatee. And with this neighborhood, there's tons of green space too. So it really is an advantage to have these nice open green spaces to take a seat, maybe have a picnic, play with your dog. There are those amenities in Nocatee as well, but it's nice to have the extra advantages in your own neighborhood too. So as I mentioned before, Coastal Oaks is definitely a community where you can utilize a golf cart. And that's super convenient to get to the town center or to the pools or to say to take your kids to school. In this neighborhood, you're zoned for Pine Island Academy, which is a K through eight, and then Nice High School. And they're both highly rated on the Florida Department of Education. Now, if we're talking about Coastal Oaks community, this is a Toll Brothers community. And they started developing in here probably around 2008, 2009. There's no opportunities for new construction, so it's all gonna be resale at this point. But you'll notice that most of the homes do have the coastal siding, hence the name, or you'll see some stucco here and there, but all the homes have beautiful siding and colors, so really your options are endless. In the last six months, there's been about 30 or so homes that have sold in the neighborhood, anywhere from the mid 600s all the way to over a million. The last thing we wanna to touch on is the preserve and nature in Coastal Oaks. So as a whole, Nocatee has dedicated around 5,000 acres towards preserve and trails. And you can hike these trails by foot or by bike or even with your golf cart. And if you're worried about Nocatee being overdeveloped or looking too commercial, you really don't have to worry about that. There is so much nature to utilize here. You'll notice throughout the neighborhood, there's so many trees and they're pretty established too. And that is really one of the cool things about Coastal Oaks. It is an established neighborhood, like I mentioned before. So there's not gonna be a lot of new construction trucks in here and all that, but you do have the dedication to the nature as well. And I will say that if that is something that is important to you, then Coastal Oaks might be a good option for you. All right, so that wraps up our neighborhood tour of Coastal Oaks. I hope you found it helpful. 
keep in mind that it might not be every day that you see a home come up for sale in here that checks off all your boxes. But if this neighborhood is one that you're interested in, feel free to email us at info at the so you can stay up to date on new listings and we'll see you in the next one.